Okay, everybody, here's where we're at. Um, first, we needed to give a uh, moment to Gunrad, who uh, correctly identified the piece that I made. Um, it's for the uh, stake that goes into the um, inlet here. That'll kind of keep it from uh, flexing, and uh, it'll protect our uh, duct. So, everybody, give kudos to Gunrad. All right, so... Here's how it looks. Um, I high sawed the heck out of everything. I redid all the um, joints on the inside there, um, and and basically made it so that it's. Uh, I mean, it's all the way up to the edge there. Whereas before it was just a small bead um, along the bottom. I want to make sure that's really solid. Um, the special mystery piece that I made. Um, I mean, that thing's solid in there. I mean, it's not moving anywhere. Um, so we're good to go there and kind of how I did this um, stake here um, I kind of showed that to you yesterday how that was built um, the bottom of the stake we'll get it to focus here there we go all right so you can see how the bottom of the, this is just a piece of uh, carbon fiber rod um, I can shape it uh, a little bit later, but I just wanted to get I put a little hook there so that it uh, catches and uh, Basically, I'll put another bracket up in the top up in that area where it uh, pops up um, <clears throat> I've got it. It'll be going back at an angle, but that shouldn't be a big issue. So um, Plus since you can kind of see through the duct when you put it in it should be really easy to line up um, I kind of designed it so that it leans back and touches the, uh, uh, the gear mount there. So anyway, so that's what's going on with that. Um, we're just about ready that we can uh, put our uh, duct in. So I've been looking forward to that. Um, uh, Stu Maxwell and Gunrad and everybody's uh, been putting comments on the um, forums on RC Universe and RC Groups um, just to make sure that I round that uh, leading edge there and put a nice radius in there. Um, really need that for the uh, Stumax and everything. It uh, gives better performance. So that's what we're going to do and uh, I think we'll go ahead and put the duct back in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that since I already showed you how it goes in on the uh, last video. So anyways, uh, meet you at the next step. Okay, what I've decided to do is I've lined up the ductwork with the um, leading edge of the top of the intake there. And what I've done is I, I haven't taped this, I haven't pinched this shut, I've just taped it so that I'm trying to get a um, uniform uh, distance around the outside. It's a little close there, but I think it'll be alright. And see when we go around I just tried to keep a uniform distance all the way around so that uh, once the epoxy dries we'll be able to sand that to a nice shape so anyways um, I think what I'm gonna do first is uh, just take some five minute epoxy and some micro balloons and just fill this gap and then that way I can turn it upside down and then fill with like 30 minute epoxy or whatever um, when I when I put in the main um, I don't know what I'm trying to say the main quantity or whatever our, our final epoxy filling thing so anyways um, so right now I'm just gonna block this off and then we'll uh, <clears throat> once that dries take the gear out and then we'll start filling it up with uh, the rest of the epoxy so We'll see how this goes. So I'll uh, set it up on a tripod so you can see me do the five minute. Okay, so I've got my five minute epoxy just about mixed up here. I added about a third micro balloons. I just want to make this so that it's uh, easy to sand. Most of the strength's going to be coming from the uh, 30 minute epoxy that we put in. A little bit later here. Okay. 
Okay, well, it looks like my camera died right in the middle of something that probably most people would want to see, so sorry about that. Anyway, um, ended up having to mix up a couple more batches. The I probably should have used 15-minute epoxy instead of 5-minute epoxy. It was uh, setting up pretty quick on me, so anyways, I just made sure I filled in all the gaps and everything here. Um, tried to keep the edges clean, but uh, that's not as important just because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of sanding and probably bondo and all that fun stuff later on. Um, but anyways, so this seals up this whole front edge here to where we can uh, turn this upside down now and then start pulling in from the uh, from what will be the top. You can see where some of the resin has run down, or epoxy rather. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start filling that up. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to pour the 30-minute uh, epoxy into the uh, um, intake there. So um, really I've just got a little opening over on that side and on that side. Um, I made my little pouring thing here. I'm hoping I can just pour it kind of down the popsicle stick there. I thinned the uh, epoxy with some uh, denatured alcohol so that'll evaporate away and um, with it being a little bit more liquid like this I think it'll be a little bit more even when it uh, gets down there. So anyways, I'm um, going to go ahead and uh, attempt to pour that in here. Um, I don't have enough uh, time left on the camera here um, to show you the process but uh, basically all I'm doing is pouring it down a hole so I'll kind of show you what that looks like once I get it in there. Alright everybody, I put my first um, batch of 30-minute uh, epoxy in there. You can see it's uh, pretty well set up. It's uh, still curing, but um, you can see how that kind of lays into the front edge there. Now, we're going to obviously trim to the gray there. Um, it's not looking so nice anymore, is it? Um, I had a holy crap moment. Um, basically, everything was looking great, looking beautiful. Um, it was, I mean, it was just awesome. I was just super excited about it. Um, but then, when I turned the airplane around and looked at it from this way, um, somehow or another, this had settled um, kind of this one direction and the distance between the bulkhead and the uh, duct on this side was about half the distance over on this side so it wasn't even centered the engine would have been shooting off to the side and um, anyway so this was about uh, 20 minutes into the 30 minute epoxy pour so um, real quick I had to take a exacto knife uh, go into the uh, top here cut the uh, duct back out um, then I straightened it out and um, then poured some more epoxy down in there so anyways no big deal um, I was able to get it before everything had set up but uh, yeah that kind of kind of freaked me out a little bit I thought for sure I'd be buying a new duct but so anyway um, this front edge um, is mostly cosmetic so um, I'll be able to sand that to shape and uh, bondo and, and most of this is getting cut off anyway so the ugly doesn't even really matter so anyway um, just want to let you know the progress um, the next thing that we'll be doing um, once I get all the epoxy done and everything is uh, We'll be strengthening the inside there, um, either laying some uh, carbon fiber cloth or I bought some of that carbon fiber toe that we can put in there. So anyways, um, so I just need to strengthen that up and then I'm also going to strengthen uh, down through here. That's the top of the duct. And again, we'll use some um, either heavy cloth or... Uh, carbon fiber or carbon fiber toes or mixture of the two or three so anyway but uh, once we do that we'll be able to start uh, putting our bulkheads in and the wings and then uh, I think this is starting to be taken off uh, and things are going to start going a little bit quicker so anyway but that's about enough for tonight I can barely talk I'm just tired from work so I'll see you guys uh, have another video for you tomorrow later